What's cracking, people? It's your man, Cousin T, a.k.a. the Alpha Wingman, representing high-level technicians operating globally and beyond. So listen, today I wanted to discuss a major sort of dimension and component of uh, the book, The Seductive Student uh, Scriptures. But before I go into it, I want to definitely, definitely go ahead and send a shout out to everybody who's uh, grabbed the early uh, copies. Uh, so thank you to all of the um, subscribers and the uh, Patreon members who are discussing various parts and elements about it. Uh, I've received your questions. Those, a lot of the questions are going to be answered in the form of uh, videos. If I can answer more specific questions that you may not want um, to be uh, answered or responded to publicly, I will do so, but definitely continue to send in those questions. That is the ultimate goal of this project. Uh, and it'll continue on forward as we gain more understanding and appreciation for it. Uh, who we are and our journey, our path, and our evolution. So again, thank you very much. Uh, and also thank you for your patience with the orders. We know that times are crazy. Amazon's doing some interesting and creative <laughs> things with their uh, delivery. Also, uh, the, the U.S. mail. Anyone who is ordering from the website, be sure to include your apartment number or your unit number because there have been a couple orders that have been returned uh, due to not having those things on. But once we slap that on, it goes out and it gets to you. So that being said, let's get into the element of the female group hierarchy. Now, if you have your copy of the Seduction Scriptures or not, we'll post this graphic on uh, the screen right now. Turn to page 41. On page 41, it uh, is a graphic or graph that shows the breakdown of the female group hierarchy. But on page 40, um, uh, in verse number three, okay, so this comes under uh, section three, which is them. Um, and the title of this particular chapter is Pussy Juice. Of course, yes, that's the name. Absorb it. Enjoy it. That is definitely another great conversation for another day, uh, but this document, this book is full of amazing things and great valuable information. But continuing on with the female group hierarchy, Pussy Juice 301 verse 3, which is uh, page 40, and we go into sort of the background information of how I discovered the phenomena of the... Uh, female group hierarchy. So basically it's saying in order to have a better understanding of how women function in groups, I'm going to break down an unscientific ranking of female group hierarchical positions that I've observed in various situations. Now, while I believe that the terms alpha and beta are good ways of identifying male behavioral, social, and physical traits, I do not believe that the same terms can accurately be applied to women. So I provided alternatives to the terms. The following is a breakdown of the phenomena that I termed the female group hierarchy or FE, F-E-G-H, pronounced FE like F-E-Y in any case. So on page 41, <clears throat> we have the breakdown of the rankings. And up top, we've got the queen bee which basically is the, the woman within a group, be it a social group, be it her work group, if she has any type of authority, which I do get into uh, in later sections of the book. Um, she is at the top of the food chain. She has the most social currency. She has the highest social IQ. Uh, she's the one that has the marriage prospects, you know, guys uh, wanting to propose to her. She knows how to work a room, work a crowd, and navigate sort of the modern um, social landscape, which is ever-changing. Uh, but as it still stands, uh, the queen bee is the one who's usually ranked at the highest order. Underneath her, we have the top mistress, who would be considered sort of the beta if you're comparing it to a, to a guy. Uh, she is the second most attractive. She sort of has a flawed personality. She's well kept, but less successful than the queen bee. Uh, she's usually the, be uh, the bestie of the queen bee, and she enforces a barrier between the queen bee and the lower group members. Then you have the bottom mistress. She's sort of the shy one. Uh, 
Um, she's moderately age active. Uh, she may have lifestyle issues, baby mama drama, uh, addictions. Uh, she is usually the introverted newbie to a group. Her attributes, well, she joined the group as a cover. We'll discuss that in another uh, video discussion. Um, she desires social, social currency or a status bump. That's an important sort of um, characteristic of the bottom mistress. Lastly, we have the sub mistress or the grenade. All right, this is the least attractive. She would never become a queen bee. She's socially awkward and crash. She's the one who tends to be the life of the party. She, uh, her attributes are she's the mother hen. She's the comic relief. She is the external defender. Uh, she is the external enforcer in the group. Now, what's interesting to note is that with the top mistress, she enforces the, the ranking structure under her within the group. She doesn't let the bottom mistress or the sub mistress get to the queen bee. And there are actual physical placements within female groups that will indicate this. I'm going to show you different pictures from pop, popular culture and from actual field research can't make this stuff up gentlemen but as masculine masters we can observe this and present it to the class all right so now that we've gone through the female group hierarchy i want to present this particular series of uh slides and i've already pre presented this over on the uh, patreon side um but this conversation that uh, I was having with the field master Ron Wills uh, while at the um, the self improvement summit in Washington D.C. Shout out to C Boogie and all of the uh, the gentlemen who participated in that. But basically, in this shot right here, I'm explaining uh, a female group hierarchy that uh, is formed over across from us from our section at the Society Lounge in Silver Springs, uh, right, side, right outside of uh, DC. This is the after event that uh, that took place um, after the in-class sessions that uh, were legendary. So as you can see, the grouping of women that are across from our section are to the letter <laughs> grouped in the, the ranking structure. Of the female group hierarchy now the numbers that i have above the the images indicate what their rankings are so one obviously is going to be the queen bee two is going to be the top mistress three is going to be the bottom mistress and four is going to be the sub mistress now in this case we've got three out of the four the young lady who's uh sitting down uh with her head in, uh, at her uh, side is the number one, she's the queen bee. Uh, number two is the lady to her right with the braids, uh, attending to the number one as a uh, top mistress is expected to do. She is attending to the needs of the queen bee. She's making sure everything's cool. And of course we have standing up on the overwatch who is protecting uh, <laughs> the pride of uh, female lionesses the number four the sub mistress this group may or may not have um a bottom mistress uh but that person that was not present in this particular scene but what i want you to notice is something that uh that ron wills noticed and uh he pointed out was that the the gentleman who's sitting next to the number one or the queen bee uh apparently is her husband and he noticed first that, you know, the, um, the queen bee had on a wedding ring, you know, like I said, to the letter. And that was completely accurate. She is sitting next to her husband in this particular shot. Gentlemen, I'm going to tell you, even though he was there, that did not prevent her from looking around. Uh, eventually, you know, they made their rounds. Uh, but this was an ideal case study real time in the field an observation of the female group hierarchy in action now what i want to highlight is also that there was a second group a smaller group there were two women uh younger women who were next to this group uh this particular fey or female group hierarchy on that same 
couch section who uh, we ended up interacting with. Um, she's there outside of this picture because my assistant took this picture. She took a lot of the pictures that were um, in at society. Uh, she actually put the camera down and she started to engage the uh, the younger women who were next to this particular female group hierarchy. And those who were there and those who know, know that the rest was history. But the takeaway that I want to uh, present with this particular scene is that once you start to understand the dimensions of how women behave in groups or uh, in singular situations, the better uh, and more easily the skill sets of seduction can be applied. On the Patreon side, we are going to shift gears to another real world scenario that is playing out every single day. This scenario, I guarantee, is playing out on your phone right now as we speak. This is the tender phenomenon of the female group hierarchy. Now, there are certain dynamics to the Tinder, Bumble, the online dating aspect of the female group hierarchy and how certain women within their own hierarchies present themselves uh, in relation to other women on the hierarchy to jockey for uh, male attention. And so... On the Patreon side, I'm going to discuss two case studies that go across, you know, socioeconomic backgrounds that go uh, beyond cultural presentation because this expresses itself globally. And it does not matter what your background is, what your socioeconomic status, what your octane uh, scale is, your positioning on the octane scale, your ethnicity, all women present on the female group hierarchy. That is why this is such an important bit of information um, to share with other men who are on their masculine mastery journey so that it demystifies uh, the, the questions that men have about women uh, and have had about women for such a long time. This is a perspective that a lot of older men and a lot of more mature men wish they had access to at a younger age. I know I did. And that's why I present the seduction scriptures. And that's why on the Patreon side, I'm going to go into further depth, real world right now. You can literally pull out your cell phones. If you're on a dating app, you can pull up and see this phenomenon unfolding real time right now. So let's go ahead and head over to that. But as far as the YouTube side, Stay tuned. This is only part one. There's so much information to break down with this. This one particular small piece of the puzzle, the Kardashian Jenner motif is going to be part two in this particular series of observations regarding the female group hierarchy. Their influence uh, on modern pop culture and what it means to be a dime, what it means to be a hot and how they're being used within their own female group hierarchy to influence culture now and into the future. Select men, pre-select men, non-select men, like, subscribe, share, and comment. And as always, this is your man, Cousin T, a.k.a. the Alpha Wingman saying, stay sharp and mission focused. Later.